What's up girls? Today we're gonna learn how to really shape that booty and give it a lot more perkiness. We're also gonna go into the under part of the booty as well and also into the back of the legs. So helping with that cellulite. The best way to reduce cellulite is to build that lean muscle. That lean muscle is gonna give that a lot more smoother look and that shape to it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what you're gonna need for today is if you're a beginner, you're gonna for sure want a chair or wall, something that you can really hold on to for your balance because today is gonna to be a lot about balance and we wanna make sure that we don't fall. The next thing is we're gonna have a step. So whether that's a stair at your house or it could be your back porch or it could be somewhere at the gym where you have a step bench, whatever it is. And now if you're a beginner, have it be a little bit smaller of a step. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can go a little bit higher, okay? But what I wanna teach us is a lot about just doing the actual step ups. It can work a lot of our booty or not. It could actually be really detrimental to like our knees and really be focusing way too much into our quads. So let me just show you the difference here. So get ready. If you haven't jumped in, go ahead and get yourself set up and let's get started. So what I've seen a common mistake of people doing, not holding on to anything and they're just stepping up. Now, if I have my chest lifted, I'm going to start to feel a lot more in my quadriceps. Okay. So the difference is if I lean forward and I step into it, I'm gonna feel a lot more into my glutes right here, okay? So that's one secret. The next is when we're just kind of crashing down, notice that this is something I commonly see, is just boom, and they just crash down on the ground. What I want you to do is hold on to something so that you can actually really control the movement down, and you're gonna feel this 10 times more in your glutes. Yes, you heard me right, you're gonna feel it. So another common mistake that I see people do is they're bringing that foot right here and notice when I'm doing this, that I'm more into my toes and that's gonna really affect my knees. So look at the staggering stance that I have here. This foot is clear up here. You can hold on to something and then really just slow it down as you come back into that, feeling that into your front heel and really connecting with the glutes, okay? So now do this with me, feel it. And we got a total of 10, here we go. Good, two more. You feeling it? Oh, what a difference, right? Leaning forward, engaging the core, and slowing down that way down. Whew. I immediately feel that in my glue. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is stay in that same side. Now we're gonna go into what's called the Bulgarian split squat. I'm gonna show you RDL, and I'm gonna also show you the, the actual squat. Okay, so the first one is we're gonna go into the back of the legs. So what this looks like, you're gonna be onto the leg you were just working. So the leg that was up forward is gonna be the leg that's also up forward and the other leg goes back. Hold on to a chair for balance. You can also hold on to two chairs for balance if you need to. You're going to just slowly lower down, noticing that my actual chest leans at a diagonal here. This is where I can actually extend my glutes out more and really push them back to get more of the results in my glutes and then slowly back up. If you're a beginner, I'm already out of breath. Whew. If you're a beginner, you don't have to go as low. So at the very beginning, it's really about just feeling and connecting. What I'm really engaging here is that I'm pushing my heels into the ground and I'm lifting up through that heel and I can feel that all in my glute, okay? My back leg, make any adjustment to make it so that it's comfortable, but it's really about just bending that knee and pushing the hip back. Good, the next one what we're gonna do is you're gonna keep your knee actually where it's at, soft, and you're just gonna actually bring that opposite lit hand down to about mid shin. Now this is gonna be working more of the hamstring. This is called the RDL. And what's awesome is the isolation exercises is gonna make you a lot stronger and it's gonna help you connect more into those muscles as well. So notice how slow I'm going, go with me, but we're just changing it up. And so instead of bending the knee, now we're just hinging at the hips, pushing the hips backward. Beautiful job, you feeling it? So my glutes are shaking right now. And if yours aren't, that's okay, let's try it again. Because we don't wanna give up. It's more about just like learning how to do it correctly, okay? So great job. All right, now let's go ahead and go into the other side, just so you can feel it. Opposite leg up, push that leg back. You're gonna kind of step it back a little bit. 
you're going to lean forward and go up. Controlling it on the way down, even if you have to hold on to something, controlling it on the way down is super key. Five more. You're going to be feeling this right underneath those glutes and into your maximus. Last one. Good. Okay. So, just as we were doing on the other one, that foot that we were just working goes to the top where the other one goes to the back. Okay. Now the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna just drop into it, into that Bulgarian split squat. So all you're doing is you're mostly bending at your knees and your hips at the same time. So both bend, see? Notice that my core is leaning forward so that I can really push the glutes back. Ah, let's go for five more. Isn't that cool when you can feel it? It's slow and controlled. Good, two more. I'm already shaking over here. How you doing? Good, all right. So now what we're gonna do is the RDL. RDL, soft knee, but now we're just hinging at the hips. So you can take that arm and just bring it down to your legs about mid shin and back up. Slow and controlled. You're going to feel it all through the hamstrings and up through the glutes. So you're not bending your knees on this one. Soft knee and you're hinging at the hips instead. Five more. Last one. Now what I want you to do is for 30 seconds, we're gonna turn the music up and I just want you to have fun. Grab your kids, grab your husband, whatever it is, I just want you to have some fun with it, okay? So dance it out, anything goes. It's just really feeling your body. This is an act of recovery, okay? Eventually we'll add weights with each other, but for now we're just going to really pay attention to the activation and the correct form with each other. And later on we'll add weights, okay? So let's go ahead and do it again. Ready? Setting that foot up forward, hinging forward at the core, engaging the core so you're pulling the tummy in back towards the spine. I like to hold on something in front so it allows me to, I can lift up with my body weight, but it helps me control the movement down. Yes, putting all that weight into your heel. Keep it slow. What I like about this one the most is that we're always going on steps every day of our life. But what's great is it allows us to do functional movement that we do every single day, but allows us to actually get and feel how we can do this to engage and shape our body as well. Five more. Love it. That foot comes forward, the other foot goes back. We're gonna go into that 
Bulgarian split squat first, so really getting nice and deep, bending the legs and the hips. Leaning forward, remember, keeping it here. We've always been taught to lean it here, but you're gonna feel that more in your quad. So just sending it forward like this, you're gonna feel a difference. If you're a little bit advanced, go ahead and go a little bit deeper on these last five right here. You feel that burn in all the right good places? Good. Whew. Oh my goodness. All right, next is the RDL. So soft knee, hinging at the hips and just bringing that hand down to the mid shin. That back leg is kind of just used more as a kickstand. All of your weight is in that front leg. Five more. Oh yeah. Shake it out, shake it out. You feeling that? Oh, beautiful shape is forming. Can feel it already. All right, when you're ready, switch to the other leg. Three, two, and one. I have a good 90 degree angle. My knee is aiming to go right up over that heel. See how slow I'm going, so slow it down. Make any adjustment you need to, so you can feel it more in the glutes. Three more. Love it, now going into the RDL, soft knee, hinging. Now notice it's not about touching my upper body. It's about hinging and my upper body just follows. So there's my upper body stays stiff the whole time. It's not doing anything. My shoulders are pulled back. Everything's good here. The emphasis, notice is pushing the glutes back and my upper body just drops down as a result. You wanna feel it through the glute and the hamstrings. I kind of lift my toes up slightly so I can feel it more. Good, three more. Love it. All right, let's have our dance party, ready? Here we go, 30 seconds, let's have fun with it. Take some time to just now stretch it out. You did such a great job today. 
go ahead and bring that leg up onto the top of the other leg and just go into that figure four. Now this might just be the start of your workout. And maybe if you're an advanced, you wanna just double stack your workouts. Love it. If this is just a beginner for you, it felt good, that's all you had time to do today and allowed you to be consistent, I'm proud of you. So it works for everybody, you guys. Allow it to work for you, have your fun in it and enjoy yourself, good. Now go ahead and drop the foot down, lift the toes up, straighten out that back leg and feel the stretch through your hamstrings. Take a good deep breath and sink in deep. Good, go ahead and now take that same foot, bring the knees to the knees, slightly press your hips forward as you're holding on to the tops of your feet. Good, and switch to the other side. Drop the foot down, toes come up. And now into the quadriceps. Ah, you did so great today. I'm so proud of you. Have fun with it. Have fun with your workouts. Have fun with loving your body again, making it simple. We just did three exercises today, repeated it twice, and we wow, we could feel the results, right? All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next workout. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, everyone.